As part of its contribution to the effort to accelerate the actualization of goal one of the Sustainable Development Goals, which seeks to eliminate extreme poverty, the Femi Bajabi Amila led ninth session of the House of Representatives is collaborating with the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and IDPs and some members to undertake a need assessment exercise to ascertain the status and condition of IDPs in different parts of the country and to also provide them with relief items. We have a report. It was in a bid to evaluate the extent of the plight of the numerous people displaced from their abode and ultimately taking steps to ameliorate same that the House of Representatives some time ago went into a strategic collaboration with the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons. After weeks of painstaking assessment, the team came up with a report of the need assessment that identified some gaps in shelter, food and non-food items, among others, challenges affecting the IDPs in different parts of the country. Subsequently, the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and IDPs responded aptly to the request of the Speaker of the House of Representatives to elevate the suffering of these displaced persons by providing and delivering reasonable quantities of food and non-food items to these displaced persons in different constituencies, including those in Ileife. Speaking at the flag off of the distribution of the relief items to the IDPs, the Federal Commissioner of the NCFRMI, Senator Bashar Garba Mohammed, who was represented by the Commission's Southeast Director, Margaret Ngozi, said due to the high premium placed on the welfare of internally displaced persons by President Muhammadu Buhari's administration, the Commission is ready to contribute its quota, its overall quest by Nigeria to achieve the SDGs while leaving no one behind. There is no doubt that the federal government, under the dynamic leadership of President Mohamed Buhari, has demonstrated a high level of commitment to the welfare of displaced persons in the country. In this regard, the federal government has empowered our commission and is currently carrying out distribution of items to POCs in many states of the federation. Ngozi, who listed some of the relief items to include bags of rice, beans, gari, bottles of palm oil, granite oil, semuvita, mattresses, mats, blankets, cooking stoves, cooking pots, sewing machines, grinding machines, amongst others, said it will go a long way in addressing the plight of these persons of concern. She enjoined the benefiting IDPs to reciprocate the government's effort by making good use of the items given to them with their families. Represented by his Special Assistant on Humanitarian Affairs, Hamza Baba, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Baja Biamila, said the intervention is in line with the Ninth House Legislative Agenda to contribute meaningfully to the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals by taking necessary steps to ameliorate the plight and needs of the poor and vulnerable mass in the country. This is in line with the uh, legislative agenda of uh, uh, the Federal House of Representatives under Right Honourable Femi Bajai Biamila. And uh, you know, if you see the Sustainable Development Goals, part of the goals uh, to help uh, people who are in need, especially the, the extreme poor people. The elated IDPs expressed joy and satisfaction as they penned different messages to the gesture from the federal government. I am very happy and grateful for what the federal government has brought to us. This intervention reached the villagers, widows, the aged, and children. They gave us so much to eat and drink. They also provided us with beddings to help us deal with displacement. By the grace of God, we are receiving the relief materials, food items, and all that from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we are here by the various community, like Hausa community, Igbo and Yoruba. We thank the federal government for giving us rice, granite oil, palm oil, gari, and beans. Well, what we are seeing here today in the, in the palace of the Imperial Majesty, the owner of Ife, that uh, we received from bills and items from the federal government of Nigeria and that the FEMA have uh, no, sent something to free privileged people. To, you know, but we thank God we have a lot of items 
they brought into this place. So we thank God for that. We thank God Almighty for this intervention the federal government has brought to us in Ileife. They gave us food, rice, beans, corn, oil, mattresses. So many things were given to us. We thank them. God bless them. Other states where this intervention took place include Katsina, Kaoji and Jega in Kebi State, Mubi in Adamawa, Kaina in Nasrawa, Mbitoli in Imo State, Ijebode in Ogun State, Dange Shuni and Sebo Mbini in Sokoto State, Giade Shira in Bauchi State, Guma in Benue State and many other constituencies across the country.